Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about pin tucks. Now, this is a decorative element that can be added to your garments. I'm going to be talking about how to sew them and then also how to incorporate them into your patterns. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to go over how to actually sew a pin tuck. So, I'm going to use this fabric as an example. The first thing I'm going to do is draw lines for each pin tuck I want. So, the number you want is really up to you, and the spacing is also up to you. I'm putting mine an inch apart, but you can really put them closer or further apart if you wish. Let's go ahead and create the first pin tuck. I'm looking at the right side of my fabric and I'm going to fold my fabric so that my first line ends up right on the fold line. So you're bringing your fabric wrong side to wrong side underneath and you can see my line here is right on the fold line and I'm going to go ahead and pin this edge. For this, I'm doing a regular straight stitch. So it's a regular length. Don't forget to do a back stitching. And I'm doing it about an eighth of an inch away from the fold. You can definitely do it smaller than that. Pin tucks are supposed to be very delicate and very narrow. Uh, if you do something bigger that's totally up to you, then it's just a regular tuck instead of a pin tuck. But yeah, it's your thing, so you definitely have some options here. I'm just doing mine about an eighth of an inch away. Just to show you the difference, this one right here is the 1 8 mark and this is half that, so 1 16th. So you can see which one you like better. I like the smaller one better. After you finish sewing all your tucks, you're then going to press them. Normally they're pressed flat and they're all pressed in one direction. So I pressed all mine going to the right. If you want to incorporate pin tucks into the garment that you are sewing, there are a couple of different options you can do. The first option is if you want to have pin tucks throughout the whole garment. So the whole garment is going to have pin tucks, or at least most of it is. What I recommend doing is that you pin tuck your fabric before you cut anything out. So this is just my fabric and I just pin tuck the whole thing. Then after it's pin tucked, I take my pattern pieces, I can go ahead, place them how I want them, pin them, and then cut it out. So then the pin tuck has already been accounted for and you don't have to fool with your pattern at all. The next option is for when you want a specific number of pin tucks in a certain area of your garment. For example, maybe in this part of my garment, this one pattern, I want one pin tuck here, but no pin tucks anywhere else. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line wherever I want a pin tuck to appear, then use my scissors in order to cut the pattern apart. Tape a larger sheet of paper underneath your pattern that you're going to be adding the pin tuck. And then we're just going to measure the separation between the two patterns. And this is based on how big you want to make the pin tuck. So you're going to double whatever the seam allowance is that you're sewing your pin tuck at. If, for example, I'm sewing 1 8 of an inch from my folded edge of the pin tuck, then this gap is going to be twice that. So that means it's going to be a quarter of an inch. If I want an even smaller one, then it's going to be 1 8 of an inch, which gives me 1 16th seam allowance when I'm sewing my pin tuck. So I'm going to use my ruler to measure the top and the bottom. If they're even, I can go ahead, tape it into place, and then go ahead and cut the whole thing out of the larger sheet. And it just kind of reinforces the smaller one that we taped to it. So it's fine if you keep this tape to the larger one, just cut out along the outline. So now here's the adjusted pattern and you can see I wrote pin tuck in the new area. So now when you cut this out of your fabric, don't forget to transfer this information so you can create the pin tucks just like we've already seen. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.